So hello and welcome to today's video. In December 2023, I made a video about a private unreleased demo of Bully that was only shown to specific reviewers very shortly before its release. This is around September 2006. And in that video, I went over what this demo might have contained. To sum it all up, these being a very few select missions that don't involve Gary and ends with an earlier version of Russell and the Hole, which doesn't spoil the plot twist. Other than that though, there wasn't much to do feature wise except explore the map. And the map you could explore was just Bullworth Academy and Bullworth Town. However, I'm proud to announce that there appears to be another, even earlier demo of Bully that was shown off privately at E3. It's currently up in the air if this is E3 2005 or 2006. The article doesn't actually state the date. And the only screenshot provided does have an updated Jimmy model and mentions an October release. That does not necessarily mean E3 2006. Bully was pushed back twice. It was supposed to be released in October 2005, then February 06, then pushed back again to October. Anyway, this one has a lot more detail on what this demo contained, and this was all discovered on an old copy of Game Informer's magazine, but they wrote up about what they saw. So, let's dive straight into this demo, or what we know of it. According to Game Informer, the demo begins with Jimmy waking up in his dorm room. The clock says he's late for class. So upon waking up, the player is told to go to the bathroom and take a piss. I'm not joking when I say that, that's near enough what they put. The fact they mention that Jimmy has to use the bathroom tells us that this demo was made when the two floor boys dorm was fully intact. They also mention that Jimmy had to go to the common room, where the common room has uh, students buying sodas, they can be found watching a working TV, which is one of the very, very few mentions of that. The common room in the final only seems to have about half of this. The TV just doesn't work. Jimmy can still interact with it by turning it on and off, and students will come and sit down and then uh, enjoy their favourite TV show Static, and they will react quite angrily if you turn their show off. But these seem to be leftovers, because this review says the TVs were actually working. I can't help but wonder if Rockstar wanted to make a feature in Buddy like the TVs in the Grand Theft Auto series do. You know, where you can just go into a safe house, just watch some in-game TV and whatever. And they somehow got this working, but then they had to cut it down the line, for whatever reason. Darts was removed completely entirely. There's only a few leftover files of these. These of course being um, sound effects and some text strings. And uh, Jimmy and Pete can only be found playing darts in the chapter 3 intro, with a picture of Dr. Crabblesnitch. And uh, there's also a dartboard in the greaser safe face, which cannot be interacted with at all and students will still come in and buy stuff from the beam coder machine. That's one of the very few things that survived entirely. There's no mention of the arcade machine here though, so they likely either not made the arcades yet, or it just wasn't in the demo. Apparently once Jimmy entered the common room, there was going to be a cutscene of a prefect, who demands you get dressed for class. We know from one pre-release picture that shows Mr. Burton in the dorm, but there's no mention of a prefect weirdly enough. The next objective is to go and get dressed properly. There's no mentions of what customization options they had, but considering Buddy had GTA Vice City like customization, that being outfits only, it might have just been like it is in Welcome to Bullworth. Go and get changed into your uniform and then head on out. Now going off this, this demo does sound much more linear than what you'd expect. And I wouldn't be surprised if you're expecting this entire demo consisting of Jimmy having to follow a strict path and then the demo ends. But it's implied that after getting changed, the demo becomes much more open world. Like the one we covered from Games Master in September 2006. Also, slight interruption, but from this point onwards, because Games Master and Games Informer both start with games, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to refer to Games Master as just Master, and Game Informer as just Informer. So, you know, hopefully that should clear up any confusion down the line. I'm going to re-repeat that one sentence again. Um, like the one we covered from Master's demo in September 2006. Informer mentioned they explored the campus, there's no mentions of Bullworth Town oddly enough, likely implying that this demo was strictly locked to the academy grounds only, pretty much like Chapter 1. And they were allowed to partake in a few select missions only. These are all unknown except for one. And that one mission they mentioned they played is Weed Killer. And much like the Russell in the Hall from Master's demo, this was a completely different version of the mission as well. Speaking of Master's demo, if you watch the video on that, you'll know that Weed Killer was not in that mission demo list either. But weirdly enough, Panty Raid was. Both Panty Raid and Weed Killer are Chapter 2 missions. 
Now, if you're familiar with Beta Bully, you'll know that according to the game's script, Weed Killer was supposed to be a mainline mission initially, being the mission that Jimmy does before he fights Biff Taylor, and then, you know, it was relegated to a side mission instead. The article does imply that the premise of the mission of Weed Killer was the exact same, because they mention an unhinged science teacher who's upset that a wealthy student had procured a precious Venus flytrap that is similar to his and wants Jimmy to destroy it. Most of the mission here seems to be entirely different. They mentioned Jimmy had to find a preppy and give him a swirly. Now, this preppy is very likely to have been Tad Spencer going off other early screenshots. But of course, at this point in the demo, I don't think they had these character names done yet, so it wouldn't surprise me if nobody except Jimmy had any names here. But yeah, Jimmy would force this prep into giving him the password for Harrington House, or as they refer to it here, Harrington Hall. No need for Jimmy to style his hair and dress smart, just give a prep a swirly, then make his way down to Harrington Hall. Then upon entering, he needs to beat up the preppies with a bat, and then make his way to the Venus flytrap, throw firecrackers at it to completely destroy it. A model for this still does exist in the final game's files too. Sadly, that's all that's mentioned about this E3 demo of Bully but we can tell there's a lot of early changes versus the master demo. These being, the map seems to be restricted to Borth Academy only, while the master demo seems to be open to Borth Town and the Academy. The demo seems to be purposely made to be quite linear to introduce the player to the basic mechanics, like getting dressed, the minigame features and such. And of course the big one, the fact that the two floor boys dorm is still fully intact here. And there does seem to be a seemingly different selection of missions to play. As I said earlier, Weed Killer was not a part of the Master Demo. Dodgeball was also mentioned as being playable, and much like the Master's Demo, there was no mention of any big story-based missions either. In fact, both demos seem to have purposely picked missions that don't spoil anything, and that can be played out of context. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Informer's Demo has a mission or two that we've never seen before, given the heavily restricted map, and the fact Master's Demo also had an entirely different version of Russell in the Hole, to purposely avoid spoiling the plot twist of Gary being behind it too. Anyway, going off the other demo video, I think it's safe to say these demos are very likely to be deep in Rockstar's vaults, and they're that rare, they're unlikely to ever be in the hands of a private collector either. I was actually researching a few Rockstar Games demos, and I found out that at New York Comic Con in October 2010, Rockstar held a private demo of Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. So what's this got to do with Buddy, I hear some of you asking. Let me explain. Rockstar did actually hold a private demo here, but they explicitly forbade any pictures or videos to be taken inside the demo booth. Outside was fine, but nothing was allowed inside. You could write up about it, but you were not allowed to take pictures or videos. And considering that these buddy demos were for journalists only, we can assume a very, and I mean a very, very tiny handful of people, got to see this beta buddy demo in action. Rockstar are definitely not a company who like to ship off demos for magazines, or for the public to see. They really like to keep these things as secretive and as locked in as they possibly can. But we now know of at least two different demo builds of Buddy that were made, and never publicly released. It would be really nice to see them, but I doubt we ever will. Especially since Rockstar's security is probably tightened up considerably because of GTA 6. I'm not just talking about the leaks that happened in September 2022, but also because Rockstar probably don't want any kind of information about it getting out. But that's it for today's video, thank you for watching and have a great day.